Hi everybody, today is July 29th, 2013. Secret DARPA Mind Control Project Revealed. Leak. Document. What if the government could change people's moral beliefs or stop political dissonance through remote control of people's brains? Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, a leaked document reveals that the U.S. government, through DARPA research, is very close to accomplishing this. Activist Post was recently contacted by an anonymous whistleblower who worked on a secret ongoing mind-controlling project for DARPA. The aim of the program is to remotely disrupt political dissident and extremism by employing transcranial magnetic stimulation, TMS, in tandem with sophisticated propaganda based on this technology. TMS stimulates the temporal lobe of the brain with electromagnetic fields. The program conducted by the Center for Strategic Communication is based at Arizona State University and they have several links to the college there, the university, one for the different programs and then if you go to home you get the uh, university website itself. The DARPA funding for this project can be confirmed on the ASU website here and it gives you a link. The head of the project Steve Corman has worked extensively in the area of strategic communication as it applies to terrorism and extremism, or what could be called the War of Ideas. Corman's latest project, narrating the exit from Afghanistan and his many presentations, make it quite obvious that the mission is to shape the narrative and literally change people's minds. At least one believe it will be contained to oversee extremism, we should keep in mind that the word extremism is increasingly used domestically. The dissidents of yesterday could easily become the terrorist sympathizers and supporters of political violence tomorrow. This DARPA research brings about many ethical questions and dilemmas. Mainly, this research aims to literally induce or disrupt the operation of narrative within the brain. In other words, this research aims to stop individuals from thinking certain thoughts and make others believe things they normally would not believe. This research has tremendous interrogation possibilities and could potentially be used to more successfully spread propaganda or stop political upheaval to an unsuspecting public. This research is being conducted by the Center for Strategic Communication at Arizona State University and is entitled Toward Narrative Disruption and Inductors, Mapping the Narrative Comprehension Network and its Persuasive Effects. A detailed overview of the project can be found in documents below. Highlights include in Phase 3 of the research, the research group will selectively alter aspects of narrative structure and brain functions via transcranial magnetic stimulation. TMS to induce or disrupt selected features of narrative processings. Page 16, emphasis added. TMS is a very powerful tool used to impair the brain's functioning of individuals. And you can see the videos below for brief demonstrations of the effect of TMS. It says here, deactivate your brain selected parts. And another one it looks like from BBC, Michael Mosley has areas of his brain turned off. Once the research group determines which part of the brain are associated with congenitive reasoning and narrative comprehension, they will attempt to impair those selections in order to create a fundamental basis for understanding how to disrupt or enhance aspects of narrative structure and or brain functioning to minimize or maximize persuasive effects on subject proclivity to engage in political violence. Page 23. Once it is determined that disruption of certain portions of the brain can enhance persuasive messaging, individuals can be persuaded to do things they normally would not do and believe things they normally would not believe. This could include something as simple as telling a closely guarded secret to believing in government propaganda or even committing a violent act. The group writes on page 26, once we have produced a narrative comprehension model, i.e. how individuals comprehend stories and persuasive messages and users, aka the government, will understand how to activate known neutral networks, such as working memory or attention, and positive behavioral outcome, such as nonviolent actions, nodes with strategic communication messages, as a means to reduce incidents of political violence in contested populations.
The group would investigate possibility for literally disrupting the activity of the NCN, Narrative Comprehension Network, through transcranial magnetic stimulation. And that's on page 30. The group is so confident that they will be able to induce or disrupt the operation of narratives in the brain that they say on page 26 that the research offers the capability to induce or disrupt the operation of narratives in the brain and develops the capability to induce narrative validity, the believability of a particular narrative or message transportation, the ability to engage by a narrative and integration associating a particular narrative with a larger, more culturally specific narrative with certainty. The group gives the following example of this project's usefulness. If it is the case that activation in one particular neutral network enables people to connect personal narratives to master narratives, culture narratives, by disrupting activity in that brain area, we should be able to selectively impair that specific aspect of narrative processing while holding other meaning-making processes constant, effectively creating a narrative disruptor. Not only would this be an important finding in the science of neutral networks and narrative persuasion, but also have considerable practical and strategic importance. Page 40. Essentially, the research aims to literally disrupt how people think and comprehend ideas and messages. Further, and perhaps even more terrifying, on page 40, the group writes, mechanical disruptions of narrative processing may be, ultimately, replicated in through targeted strategic communication campaigns that approximate the narrative disruptions, induce viva magnetic stimulation. So after finding out which parts of the brain are activated by particular persuasive messages and propaganda, the government can test out messages that only activate particular portions of the brain and not others in order to persuade individuals to believe or not believe something. Essentially, they are attempting to modify brain functionings without TMS and only words. One can only imagine the strategies the government could use with this technology that can make the public believe almost anything that suits their needs. It could literally lead to mass brainwashing. But what does this mean practically? It means that if this research succeeds, the government will be able to modify how one personality thinks. They could strap you in a chair, put a machine on your head, turn off parts of your brain, introduce a persuasive message, and make you believe it. Further, through extensive research, they may be able to replicate the machine's brain disruption functioning simply through carefully crafted and researched persuasive messages and propaganda. They can use brain imaging to determine which portions of the brain are activated when a particular message is presented to an individual. And if the right portions are activated, they know the message will circumvent one's mental reasoning and lead to almost automatic acceptance. With enough data, the government could spread propaganda through the media that people will almost automatically believe whether it's true or not. I believe they're already doing this. Some people's brains are more susceptible than others. Some of those familiar with ESP and mind control through ESP know exactly what I'm talking about. In terms of integration possibilities, transcranial magnetic stimulation can be forced upon the individuals to make them believe certain things, say certain things, and perhaps admit to acts they did not actually commit or commit acts they normally would not commit. The government is literally trying to brainwash the public. This is not science fiction. Technology has made it possible to induce and disrupt congenitive functioning in individuals. In the future, your thoughts may not be your own, but ones that have been implanted into your brain through exceedingly successful and validated propaganda. And it says we encourage you to embed these documents on your own website or blog and share them with everyone you know. And it gives images of all the documents. In these documents, it's interesting. It talks about different meetings. Down here it says red team exercise, audiences, colleagues, faculty, the press. Um, they consider that the danger room. Activists, tin foil hat people, you hire administration, and state government. 
so the press danger room I don't know if that's the website or if they're considering the press you know the danger room and it's interesting activist tinfoil hat people it's also got um, proposed cost of what this research is going to make for the college it just shows you what this Arizona State University is all concerned about money it's all about money so much for morals and doing what's right they're probably saying, well, if we don't do it, somebody else will. Why not us make the money, right? And if I'm reading this right, this was a contract that was put up for bid, probably proposed to different uh, colleges and research group to do this research for the government. On this page here, it says, humans are storytelling beings. And there is no clearer evidence of this than the struggles of the United States government to convince the world population of its good intentions and to dissuade key constituencies from the powerful narrative told by violent extremists. In short, it is widely recognized that the U.S. is losing the battle of narrative and thus, consequently, the war of ideas. This is some scary stuff on what they're going to use it for. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.